Good morning, everyone. So I'm looking at who has registered and who is in attendance today. It looks like most everybody has been logged in to their VSA account recently. Um, so that's fantastic news. If something is not being shown on the webinar today and you have questions about it, please use your chat window. I'm going to leave that window up throughout the webinar and I'm going to be answering those questions. I'll also leave time at the end of the webinar to answer any additional questions that you guys have. Uh, but let's really get started on the overview of the VSA. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. We're going to start right on the main menu of the VSA. And this menu here really is the meat and potatoes, I guess, of the VSA. So this is where you get started with it. We're gonna start with a couple of housekeeping items. Over on the left-hand side, you're gonna see a navigation bar. That navigation bar will get you to and from each individual pieces or I guess kind of departments of content that you can find here. You'll see you've got client tools, resources, and needs all along the left-hand side as well as right in the middle of your main menu. Quick links is just that. These are two easy buttons for you to keep track of those top 10 most used pieces of content that you use and the last 10 links of content as well. So as you continue to use your VSA, you're gonna see this change over time. You're probably gonna see it change throughout the year with the ebb and flow of business as well. So that is really the navigation bar along the left-hand side there. Along the top, you'll see towards the right, you've got the search window. That's just exactly that. It's pretty much a Google search uh, for the VSA specifically. You've got news right here. The news tab is really what is new from the VSA. So any content updates, anything that we're going to be visiting, if we've got any expos we're doing, uh, big broker dealer or IMO shows that we're doing, we're going to put that in there. You can see our last couple of inputs have been our financial e-news that you guys get every first and 15th of the month. Help is just that. That is your life guide um, a little bit or your life raft when you get stuck. So if you are new to the VSA, that guided tour is gonna to show up for you every once in a while. Um, it's only about 10 slides long. You can always click off of that by just clicking anywhere on the page. Um, if you are training somebody new in your office or you just need a refresher, that guided tour is always gonna be there under that help menu right there. Of course, you can always ask for help and that will send it directly to our subscriber services. And then any suggestions you have. So if you've got new suggestions for content, um, if you see that something isn't working properly, let us know, we'll get that changed and we'll get that submitted to our content writers as soon as possible. Settings is really where you find everything for you. So we're gonna come back to settings here in a little bit during the webinar. This is where you're gonna customize your business card information, all your contact information, where you can upload your picture, as well as change any billing information and submit a name change request. So we'll be back to settings here shortly. What I really wanna start with before we get into any of the content is your personal website. And so if you can use that chat window there, let me know how many people are using, how many of you guys online today are using the personal website as your agent website or as a resource for your clients. Um, so I'm gonna run into this real quick. When you click on the personal website, it's gonna pull up a page, it's gonna have two links. One link is for your public site. We're gonna give you a domain and a link when you are subscribed to the VSA. If you are using GoDaddy or you have your own personal domain that you would like to use, that's perfectly fine. You can mask that link. We have seen in the past just recently 
that some of the masking is having a little bit of trouble masking a secured website. So we want to let you know we do have a secured website for you guys with the VSA. GoDaddy is working on that. If you use GoDaddy, if you're using a different service, you may want to check with them and make sure that that's not what is halting any um, masking of that website. The second link is really going to be your editing link. So any changes you want to make to your website, this is that second link right here. So I'm going to pull this up in a separate tab. And in this separate tab, you're going to see that your website shows up right there in the middle. And then on the left hand side, that navigation bar again is there for all the changes that you can go through. So we're just going to go through the customization real quick of the website. All everything that is being customized is right here, and you're going to see it live as you change. So if you see here, you've got two logo or photo places up here at the top. The business logo is going to go right here in the middle. I say middle, it's really to the left um, of that header on your website. And so you're, you can put a business logo there. If you don't have a logo that you want to upload, we're just going to leave the business name as you have put it in the BSA up there in text format. Your personal photo is exactly that. It's your lovely mug or a picture of your team right there in the center of the page above all your business card information. Your business card information is going to be edited over in the VSA, so we'll touch on that here shortly. But underneath all of that, you're going to see your firm description here. The firm description can be changed over here on the left-hand side. There are 2,000 characters available for you to do this. And so let's say that I want to delete the updates in real time. When I hit submit, you're going to see that that firm description immediately change live right there on the website. Okay. Broker dealer information is the same setup. It shows up in the footer of your website. So again, those updates happen in real time and this is where you can put that disclosure for any broker dealer information that you need. You've got 500 characters to do that as well. Next in line for, I guess, settings would be your important links. Important links is really where you get to add outside links to your website. And it's going to show up right here in the middle of your website page. Okay. These important links, there are 10 slots available. You get to choose the description and how you want to describe it. And you get to put whatever links in there you want to. So as an example, I just have some news links, a Google link, and then our Facebook uh, pages on there. You don't have to use these 10 links for your social media. That's because we offer those social media icons that are going to show up in both your header and the footer of your website. And so if you've got any broker dealer information, you have uh, certain setups, or maybe you like a particular ticker that you want to link to, you can do that all right here under important links. Okay. If you want that section to go away completely, you can also pull it up and just hit disable here. When you hit disable, you're going to see that that whole box right there in the middle is going to disappear. Okay. So you can enable it or disable it. I suggest if you don't have any additional links, you just go ahead and disable it so that it creates an even and just a seamless flow of your website. There are a few other sections that you can enable and disable. Those are gonna be found right here on that left-hand side, and they're right underneath where those important links were. And so you can see that I've got two of the three enabled. So I'm gonna enable this last one so that you can see how it works. If you enable all three pieces of this, you can see how seamlessly it just lines up everything, okay? If you dis disable a piece, it's just gonna spread it out. And you can see that there, okay? 
Your social media links, those are the icons here. You can see I've got LinkedIn down in the footer. And I also have a LinkedIn up here in the top right hand corner of my header. Those are all right here. So I can enable those and then fill in the blank. If it is not filled in, it's not going to show up. Okay. And so you can see LinkedIn was the only one that was showing up there um, at the time. And then now it's, you know, I don't see Facebook, I don't see Twitter because I don't have anything in there. All right. Focus areas are down here in the footer. This is another piece that you can enable or disable. These focus areas are right here. And so if you have a particular niche that you like to focus on in your practice, you can put it right here. If you don't like the idea of focus areas being in that footer, you can just disable it. It goes away and the contact us moves right on over, okay? The area and, or address, not area, but the address and map display is really that quick link right here for any storefront that you have. And so if you have a traditional brick and mortar office, this is great because what we're seeing is that a lot of your clients are using mobile devices to access your website. And so when they use that mobile device, this link is gonna automatically map them out on how to get to your office. If you are completely virtual and you do not have a traditional brick and mortar store, you can disable that piece. So I have it enabled so you guys can see it. Obviously I am completely virtual. Um, so you're not gonna find a map to our PO box in Katy, Texas, but that is there for you as well. And then you've got your themes. And so if you see this black and gray theme that I have on mine and you're really just, it's just not tickling your fancy a little bit, there are a few themes that are loaded here. You can change those quickly. The main thing that is going to change is really just gonna be the color scheme. The outline, the content, all of that of the website is going to stay the same. And so we'll choose the rainstorm, light, rounded, thick. There are long words for technical terms that you're really not going to see a whole lot of difference in other than the color. But you can see that it changed to more of a, you know, navy and gray, a little bit brighter of an option there. You also have a bright blue option that you could do. It's more of a LinkedIn type blue. A little bright for me, but some people love it. And then one that some people just love that's a little too colorful for me, but I will show you guys that anyway is the green thumb. And so that's going to be a little bit more, a little bit darker, a little bit money driven, uh, but people like it because it's the color of money and we're in insurance and financial business. So, does anybody have any questions so far on the setup of the website? And if you want to, I'll give you a little bit of time to throw it in that chat box. If you don't have any questions, then I'm going to move on to the content that's already loaded within the website. Okay, so let's move forward. Um, oh, okay. For those of you that are independent, do we have any suggested content? Um, so. I'm not sure what you mean by suggested content in terms of the website, but there is content already loaded. And so let's show you that real quick. We've got concept pages, strategies, worksheets, life guides, and calculators already here loaded for your clients. Inspirations is gonna be really just motivational quotes for them. Um, so I'm not gonna go over inspiration too much um, because that's just the real, feel good stuff. Um, but the content here is there for them to look at and maybe request from you. As far as any disclosures, that's another question that's come in. Those disclosures would be up to you and your broker dealer. Now, if you are FINRA licensed, um, or if you have the other check, and I believe it is the, let me look here. If you're FINRA licensed, 
or you need the SIPC membership link on there, you can enable that and I'll show you that real quick. Those are gonna show up right here, okay? And so if I enable both of those, you're gonna see it all right here. Um, and you, then you can disable it as well. As far as disclosures, I would check with your broker dealer. Any content that we do not have loaded for you already that's provided in the VSA, you can link to that additional content using those important links that I was talking about there. So if there's any content with your broker dealer or IMO, you can link to that as well, okay? So let's run through real quick. Concept pages are gonna be available here for your clients to kind of utilize and really just get in there and get to know more of the financial concepts that you're gonna to talk to them about. And so how much money will I earn in a lifetime? That's gonna pull up in a PDF for them right there. And so they can get on here and get a little bit of education. There are also some pieces of content like the life guide, that when they get on here and they request a life guide, so I'll request marriage and money, for example, it kind of brings them to a lead capture form. This lead capture form, once they fill it out and hit submit, is going to be emailed to you. So then at that point, you can take that lead and do with what you want to do with it. Some agents like to make a phone call and see, hey, what's going on? What made you request the life guide? Life guides are gonna be anything that, you know, is really life throwing them a curveball or there's a big life change that's coming up. So maybe they know it's available on here, but the life guide isn't technically for them. Great way to see if there's a referral that you could be getting out of that. Um, also a great way to see, is there another, you know, do we need to sit down and do another full financial review? If you're getting married, let's talk about what that really means to not only have the dress and the personal articles policy and changing your insurance, but let's talk about what that means when you start marrying your assets and your debts together, right? So it's a completely different um, financial plan for many married couples. So that last guide is going to be that lead. It's going to be sent to you. Some agents like to just send it to them. And they like to trust that if they have any more questions, they're going to call back. Not my particular way that I would do business, but some agents like that, and it works for them. And so you get to choose how you want to handle that lead when it comes in. Strategies and worksheets are going to be there as well. Worksheets are great. Um, just if you've got somebody going through a hard time, they need a budget organizer or a balance sheet. Maybe they don't have in financial inventory, these are great ways for them to self-discover a little bit uh, what they may need. And so as they go through and they start filling some of this stuff out, they're going to realize that I don't have anything to put in that blank. And then that is a need that you can help them with. Okay. And so that pulls up. That's free for them on your website as well. We'll go through on Within the VSA, there's a full financial workbook, and I'll show you guys that here in a moment. Okay, well, if that's all the questions we have on the website, I'm gonna jump back over into the VSA. If y'all have any more questions on the website, feel free to put that in that chat window, and I will answer them. If not, as we go, I will answer them towards the end of our presentation here. So we're gonna go back over to the main piece, the main menu of the VSA. The other thing that I want to show you, and I told you guys we'd be back to it, is that settings menu. This is where you're really going to customize your contact information for both your content and your website. So all the other changes that we were talking about just briefly were for the website specifically. This is going to be mainly for content and your website. And so I clicked on customization. This is where you're going to choose the photo that you want to show on your content pages. 
And so we think about content pages, you wanna think about the cover pages for these content. You wanna think about newsletters. Um, and that's really the main two pieces. A lot of people have the same photo that matches their website so that there is some continuity in that as well. So this is where you would change that. This is a free form editing piece for the picture. And so if you've got a bigger picture and you just wanna crop your headshot out of it, you can. This particular picture that I used, I've got two people on both sides of me. And so I just cropped and did a quick headshot there. The other thing under settings is your personal information. This is where your business card information would go. So all of your phone number, email address, business name, all of that's gonna be right here. And then broker dealer information. This is gonna be any disclosures you need to put in for that broker dealer information as well for your content specifically. Okay. So quick and easy under settings is kind of self-explanatory, but it's things that we don't touch very often. And once you get it set up, you may not change it for a long time. So I like to cover it anyway. All right, so let's move in a little bit more to the content of the VSA. The VSA is gonna offer both personalized pieces of content as well as fillable pieces of content. And so the first thing that I want to really show you guys are the priority approaches. It's a great way, one, to show you guys the difference between personalized and syllable. It's also a great way to make sure when you're talking with a client that their financial priorities are in order and that you're helping them with how, what they see as a priority to them as well. And so personalized, um, the easiest way to differentiate the two is you can put the name of the prospect and the date in there for the prospect to show up on the PDF. Your picture and or business card information is also going to show up on there. And so not all the time will your picture show up on the cover page, but every single time your business card information will show up on the cover page. Fillable pieces of content are just that. They're gonna be blank PDFs that are fillable online. And so fillable on the computer, you can save them on the computer and send them back. Personalized, you're gonna to need to print off and write it in or fill it out with them in the office sitting across the desk for you. So let's look at a personalized piece real quick. I'm gonna throw my name in here so you can see where it will show. And we're gonna choose with PNC insurance there. Every time you choose a piece of content and you hit submit, you're gonna see a view, save email page. I always suggest viewing the page first so that you make sure it's the right piece of content and the content that you thought you were getting. Okay, so you'll see who it's being prepared for right here. These priority approaches, show just your business card information. So that business card information is gonna show up right here. For those pieces of content, like the life guides, the concept pages, uh, newsletters, this is where your picture would show up. It would show up right above your name, and then all the business card information will slide down. And then you can also see here where this particular PDF, you cannot fill in the blank here. So it's really a print or download um, option. These are great though, if you want them to fill it out and bring it back in, or if you're gonna fill it out with them. I like particularly to fill it out with them. I feel like when you're writing something down and they can see what you're writing, there's not so much secretiveness of them going, okay, what are you doing with my personal information? And so it just keeps everything transparent. All right, I'm gonna back back out and I'm gonna show you guys the difference in that fillable piece. Once you click on the fillable option here, anything that is only offered and personalized is gonna go away. And so you can see that just briefly, the list got a little bit shorter. I'm gonna hit that personal planning again and scroll down. 
We'll see the view save email page, which is something you're gonna see every single time. We'll hit view and you can see that everything shows up blank. Okay, but you can go in and fill in these blanks as well. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the personalized versus syllable. As I back back out, I wanna show you guys really how some of your pictures in that customized menu that you've customized now. And to this point, it's gonna show up. So client newsletters is one of our most popular pieces. Our June client newsletter is getting ready to rotate out and you should be getting that email in about three days. We rotate these newsletters out every 25th of the month for the very next month. So on the 25th of May, you're gonna see the ones for June. They're offered in both HTML, PDF, and trifold. I will tell you that trifold is my least favorite out of any of them. I think that um, the PDF is a lot cleaner. And of course, the HTML is an email favorite. And so let's look at the HTML business brief for the moment. <clears throat> we'll get this pulled up. This is the great, really the best option for you if you are going to be emailing in mass these newsletters to your clients. And so a lot of our agents will use a product like MailChimp or Constant Contact, um, and they will select this entire HTML page, copy and paste it into the body of that email, and then email it out to their distribution list. HTML is gonna be the most friendly. This is the May business brief newsletter. Now, each newsletter will be a little bit different um, for each particular client, but it should be different for you every month as well. And so as you scroll down, you can see that everything's just seamless. It's nice. It shows up like an HTML piece. If you wanted to copy and paste this into your email client, you're just going to control A so that you select the entire page. Control C we'll copy it, and then you can go into your email client and hit Control V as in Victor, and it will paste it into that body, okay? I'll show you what the PDFs look like just so that you can see that comparison. They're very similar <clears throat> in look at least. Um, the really the big difference is one's PDF and one's HTML. If you do not like the HTML option and you still want to email the PDF, you can do so. It's easiest to do it as an attachment. I would save it on your computer and title it something that they will recognize. Maybe put your name in there um, and the newsletter next to it, something that they recognize so that they aren't hesitant to open that attachment when they get that email. Okay. Let me run back to the main menu here. <clears throat> I want to navigate from newsletters into life guides now. So I'm gonna use the left navigation menu. I'm gonna go over under client tools, down towards the bottom, I'm gonna find life guides. These life guides, again, are really my favorite for finding new referrals. For making sure that you're staying on top of what's happening within your client's life. And the other thing it's really great for is making sure that you have multi-generational clients. And so if you have, let's say, a long-term client, they're in their 50s, 60s, they likely have kids. Their kids likely have kids, right? And so it creates more of a family piece so that you're not trying to capture that later in life every time. Life guides are a great way to stay connected through the generations of one client. So our life guides here will use the personalized, we'll also use marriage and money again as an example. These are gonna be a little bit longer piece of content. So you're look, gonna be looking at a couple of pages for the life guide. Great though for any time that you just pick up in a conversation that something's happening in their life, any time that you're at an expo and you need just some ideas, the marriage and money piece would be great if you were doing a wedding expo. 
right? And so this will go through not only what it means to get married and have the wedding budget and the monthly budget and changing your name and finding an address and all the fun stuff, but it goes through really what it means from an insurance and financial standpoint to get married. And so it'll go through different prenuptial agreement concepts, uh, but you can see it's 14 pages long. And so some great questions for them to ask themselves, maybe for you to pose to them, and then great ways to uncover new needs as they go to join a life together. All right, so I'm gonna back on out. You're gonna be able to see that life guides are really there for just about anything in life. So managing an inheritance, all the way down to planning for your estate, planning with children with special needs, um, teaching kids about money, that's a great way to get in. Talk with your teachers, work with the PTA, work with the school district. Um, it starts on a very early level when you start talking about interest rates and the good and bad of interest rates. So if it's on a credit card, not always not so good. If it's on a money market account, it can work very much in your favor. So that's gonna be your life guide information, okay? Concept pages, we went over that in the website. Those are really just one page descriptors that add validity to the concept you're trying to talk to your clients about. So you're across the table, we see it all the time. Our clients look at us like we, like they're just a deer in the headlights. Like we're talking complete Greek to them. And so these concept pages help back some of that up. I'm gonna use the life insurance under personal planning as an example. But you can see here that, you know, there's a million different ways that you can do life insurance. We've got variable life insurance, universal, term. Uh, do you get it when you're early? Do you look at cash value? These are gonna be very much just conceptual pieces to help you explain that piece. So I'm gonna look at the cash value insurance advantages and hit submit. We'll hit view. These are also great, just like the last guide, if you need some quick handouts. Need something in the lobby of your office, um, somebody's waiting on you, great ways to have just some quick, easy reading material and take home information for them. So you can see it just makes it real easy to talk about it. it. Makes it easy for them to read, puts it in layman's terms, and it's short, sweet, and to the point. You're only gonna find those concept pages really over one concept at a time. And so if you're putting together some type of onboarding package for new clients for you, you may go through and pick out some of your top pieces that you would want to talk to a new client about and put that in there. Um, you can create where you have one cover sheet for multiple concepts. However, those multiple concepts need to all be selected under the same subcategory. And so it's gonna be, you can always go in and print out one under annuities as well and have multiple pages under that and then just toss the cover page and put them together. Uh, but if you wanted it all to print out together with a cover page, it's got to be under the same subcategory for that. Okay. Let me go back through. I've talked to you guys about the worksheets that were available on your website. I'm now going to show you the workbook. The workbooks and worksheets can be found under client tools. Again, the workbook is all of these worksheets in one. Okay, so these worksheets are available on your website. The workbook is only available through you. So the workbook is quite a bit longer. I think it's right at 17 pages. And you're gonna see that it includes every bit of that. What I like about this particular piece is you don't have to be selling a product. Nobody has to say yes to you for you to feel like you are being a resource for them and for them to feel like you're being helpful. And what that does is later, when they do need the help, they will remember you and come back, right? So you're making yourself a resource, even though they maybe didn't tell you yes today. 
okay? So this is 17 pages long. It's a lot. It's a great inventory piece, though. And so as they go through, they're going to find those blanks and those needs and their coverages. They're also going to know that as they fill this out, those they're leaving behind, if something were to happen to them tomorrow or later today, they're going to have that inventory piece. I mean, I, I am in the business, and if my parents happened to pass tomorrow, I wouldn't know who is who to call. I wouldn't know what they have. And I'm in the business, right? So sometimes we neglect ourselves, but these are great pieces for those that they leave behind as well. And then you, again, become that multi-generational resource for that client and their family. Okay, so we'll scroll through some of this for you. You can see here where's the budget organizer. Pretty simple, straightforward. You'll go through that couple of pages, the balance sheet. It's just that we've all filled out a balance sheet a time or two before. And then you start in on the inventory pieces. Starts with the bank and brokerage accounts, moves into retirement planning. What I also like about this is it has, it splits out. What is the employer sponsored plan? And what is the personal retirement plan? So you're not seeing people today stay near as long in those employee sponsored plans as they used to. Right. If we think about generations before us, they found their career in some some people that I know, that's the only job and the only place they've ever worked their entire life. You start looking at some of these millennials and they've already gone through a lifetime of employers climbing that ladder. Right. And so the employee sponsored plan is important so that you look at that as one. What if your employer gets rid of it? But two, what happens if you leave your employer? Um, and so you can talk through that and compare that to their personal retirement plans as well. Okay. So I'm going to back on out. We're getting close to about 40 minutes into our webinar, and I don't want to keep you guys too much longer. So another thing that I want to show you are our presentations. Now, our presentations are offered in two different formats. Okay, we offer client presentations, which are in PDF format, and then we offer PowerPoint presentations, which are obviously in PowerPoint format. Really, the two are the same. It's what is the impact that you want to use, and how are you presenting it to the audience, right? And so, client presentations are just that. They're going to be here under PDF. What I like about them is as you select a subcategory, so we're going to look at survivor needs under personal needs, it's going to pull up our corresponding financial calculators for you. Okay, and so we're going to have some suggested um, calculators to use as well with that. Those PDFs are going to show up looking pretty similar to all the other PDFs that we have. And they're going to have charts and graphs and all of that fun stuff in the presentation. And so it's great eye-catching material, uh, very aesthetically pleasing to the eye as well. Your picture does show up on this particular cover page for the PDF. But you can see here all the nice charts and graphs, easy to read format. Okay. If we were to go and look at that same corresponding piece, but under the PowerPoint presentation. Well, if I can keep my mouth still for a quick moment for you guys. Okay, so we're gonna look at PowerPoint presentations. PowerPoints are not going to have your picture on them. You don't, it's one of the few pieces of content within the VSA that um, aren't, it's not really going to have any of your personal information on that as well. And so as you hit view, it's going to download it in PowerPoint for us. As long as we don't have any technical difficulties on my end, I can see it's going a little bit slower. So I apologize for that. There we go.
All right, we're gonna open this up. This is gonna be already ready for you in slide format, okay? And so as you go through the slides, you're gonna see that the same information, the same charts and graphs are in there as are in the PDF. They're just in a little bit different format, little bit different look, okay? So PDFs are great for handouts. They're great for presentations across the table or where you're not gonna have any technical ability to show a PowerPoint. If you like PowerPoints, they're already ready for you. And so you can just click through them, they're good to go, okay? I'm gonna go back to the main menu and the last two pieces of content that are really two of our other most popular pieces are found under the resources tab. And that is gonna be our tax digest and our specimen documents. And so as we're getting back to that main menu, I can see that my internet is slowing down a little bit over here and I do apologize for that. I am out in West Texas and I don't know if you guys have watched the weather any in the last week, but we've made the national news twice with tornadic events. And so mother nature has not been very nice to us lately and it has been affecting a little bit of our connectivity. So if we can get to those main menu pieces, I will show them for you. If not, I'll go ahead and open it up since we're right at about 45 minutes for any additional questions or anything else you would like to learn from future VSA demonstrations. And so if y'all, you guys want to go ahead and start typing those questions in, that would be great. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the tax information since we've got the menus popping up slowly. Our tax digests are really just that. We take all of the IRS information, we make it very easy to read for you. Uh, we'll put it in PDF format and we'll make that available for the last 10 years as well. And so our tax digests usually drop every year around November, October-ish. It really just kind of depends on what is going on within the U.S. government and how quickly they are or are not changing in anything. And so you can see you've got 10 years information here. We're going to look at the 2019 digest and hit submit. You remember, I think it was 2018 that they finally changed it. Um, but 2018 was, I believe, Trump's first year after he had gone into office. I can't remember exactly the year. Um, but that year, we actually put out two different tax digests for you guys. We put one out uh, thinking that it wasn't going to change and Congress wasn't gonna get anything done. And lo and behold, they threw us a curveball right in the middle of the holidays. And we were able to get you guys out an updated version of that. And so as this is loading and when it decides to pop up, we'll get that popped up and show you guys how easy it is to really help any of your clients through some of that tax planning. And this is an example of our 2019 tax digest. So you've got the tax rate that has come together, the standard deductions. So if we remember, um, there were a lot of deductions that went away for 2018 and 2019. Um, and so they just went to standard deductions if you were gonna do anything like that. And some of those standard deductions did go up. And so this kind of just makes it quick and easy. Great handout again for any of those expos that you may be doing or just putting it out towards the end of the year and during the first four months during that tax time information. Okay. And then as we back out, I'll show you our last piece of popular content. And that is our specimen documents. Our specimen documents are meant to be sample documents, sample legal documents um, for you to show your client if they need them. So you're gonna see things in there like a living will. You're gonna see buy-sell agreements are very popular in there. Um, lawyers love them because they're so dang close to the full legal document. 
And so we see all the time where they will take our documents, they take the watermark off, they put their header on there and move forward <laughs> with that document. So they are not technically legal documents, they are specimen documents, uh, but they are here for you. And you can see that we have a slew of them available for you. So I'm gonna look at this living trust since we can all kind of relate to that one a little bit. And we will show you what this looks like. As this is loading, I'm not seeing any questions come in. Um, so we're getting towards the end of our webinar. If you've got any questions, you can definitely put those in the chat window. If not, that is fine as well. Okay, so here is the specimen document for the living trust agreement. So you can see that there is a watermark across it, but if they're sitting there and they're going, well, wait, why do I need that? Or what is that? What does it talk about? This, you can give them. There's six pages to this particular document, and you can see it's written like a legal document. They can go in, they can kind of fill it out before they put something together. Um, and then that way, when they take it to their legal counsel, they're already ready for that. So just one additional way for you to be a resource, if you do anything in advanced markets, our advanced market guys really like the specimen document as well. Okay, so that brings us really to the conclusion of just the VSA overview. I do appreciate you guys joining us today. I still haven't seen any questions come in, so I'm going to take your word for it or lack of words for it that you guys don't have any. But I am going to throw in the chat box my email address. If you have any additional questions or if you have anything that you would like to see on future webinars, we are going to be doing these for you guys. We will look at full overviews and we'll also look at kind of narrowing down to either different ways for you to use the VSA or different pieces of content and how they can be used. Um, so if you've got any suggestions, you want to just give me some kudos and feedback, that would be great as well. But I do appreciate you guys joining us today. I got you in and out in just under an hour. Um, so thank you for registering. Thank you for joining. And we look forward um, to you guys being long term clients of ours at the BSA. If you're not a client of the BSA, we do offer a seven day free trial. And that seven day free trial can be found on our homepage at ffonline.com. You hit free trial here. It will take you to a sign up page where no credit cards needed. And so if you've got any questions, you wanna try that free trial, I urge you to do so. And I am here to help you as we can. Thank you guys so much for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing you guys more in the future.